not want to be caught back in that crowd because I just had an uneasy feeling that someone was about to do something stupid. I saw a news article uh, yesterday that um, a monument or a, uh, a memorial to um, Lieutenant Michael Murphy and those of you who don't know um, who Michael Murphy is, um, he was the uh, small platoon leader um, of the group of the four Navy SEALs that went into the Kunar province of Afghanistan in June of 2005 uh, looking for Ahmad Shah and his merry band of goat fuckers. Lieutenant Murphy's memorial, he's got a little, um, little plate with his, um, with his image and his name and his, you know, date of service and all, uh, stating who he was. And that's out in, in Ronkonkoma in, in Long Island. And, uh, well, that was vandalized. And, uh, you can see a picture of the vandalism here. Um, it's, it's absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting what someone would do. Like, this is what it comes down to. This is, this is the level of disrespect we have in this country for anyone. It just baffles me how people think they can get away with shit like this. And, you know, granted the police are, are investigating it and all that, but, you know, and in this day and age, you, you, you can't do anything without someone seeing you. It's just, you know, there, there was a camera somewhere, you know, video was rolling somehow. They'll, they'll, get, they'll get the assholes that did this. But it's just, it's amazing because, you know, you know, I, you have friends on, on, on different sides of the spectrum, like, oh, you know, and these friggin' Muslims, and they, all right, first of all, it's not Muslims. If it was going to be anyone, it would be, it would be, you know, Islamist extremists or Muslim extremists, whatever we want to call them, but it's, it, if this was done by a Muslim, I guarantee you it wasn't a regular Muslim that wants to go to work every day, raise his family, you know, and, and, and be an American and, 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 you know, be part of our society. I, I, I can guarantee, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not someone like that. And if it was an Islamist extremist, I don't know what the fuck we're calling them now. What? All right, you know what, from, from here on out, when I refer to a Muslim extremist or an Islamif, Islamist extremist or whatever, I'm just going to call them goat fucker. All right, so I'm just going to call them goat fucker from now on. That'll separate the good, everyday, you know, law-abiding, sensible Muslims from the people that want to blow shit up, all right? So from here on forward, we're going to call them goat fuckers. So I don't think it was a goat fucker because goat fuckers are a little smaller than that. If anything, they probably would have blown shit up and they would have done it in a way where they would have, you know, caused mass casualties or as many casualties as they could. I don't think they're going to go up to, you know, a plaque for uh, a Navy SEAL and, you know, hit it with a couple of hammers. I think this was the work of probably, probably white kids, white kids that, you know, feel guilty for being white, you know, hate themselves for, for being born white, you know. SJWs, all these, you know, Antifa, social, whatever the, whatever the hell they're calling themselves these days. I call them pussies, but, you know, that's just me because, you know, yeah, 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 I know you talk tough and all that, Rob. Yeah, Rob thinks he's a tough guy. No, I'm not a tough guy. If I was walking down the street and I saw anyone desecrating the American flag or certainly doing anything like this to, to someone's memorial, <laughs> I'm going to jail. I'm not going to sit by and like, oh, man, that's your freedom of speech. No, no, that's not freedom of speech. You're, you're destroying property, which is illegal, number one, regardless of your freedom of speech. Number two, you're desecrating the memory of someone that is far better than you could ever possibly imagine being. You dirty, rotten, disgusting piece of shit, whoever you are. If you do something like that to someone's memorial, especially some, someone who flew halfway around the world for your rights and your protection was fighting on your behalf so your pussy ass doesn't have to and you go and do this to their memorial no nah, no nah. operation red wings was back in june of 2005 and it consisted of i mean there was a lot of support staff i mean uh, a chinook helicopter was was uh was shot down trying to rescue them 
uh, by a lucky shot by, you know, a teenage goat fucker. So, a lot of, a lot of Navy SEAL Special Forces and, and you know, um, Air Force SOAR operators lost their lives that day. But in June of 2005, I believe the 28th, um, the, 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 14th, the four the four-man SEAL team um, was inserted into um, mountains of Afghanistan. They were they had to walk a few miles to get to their vantage point to try to you know try to capture Shah. Shah was responsible for numerous numerous casualties and deaths of U.S. Marines in the area. Wow, a pink BMW. You must be like a Mary Kay lady. <laughs> Hey, what else is pink? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, stop. But seriously, I don't. So the four-man SEAL team consisted of, you know, of course, Lieutenant Mike Murphy in, in command. Matt Axelson was running point. Danny Dietz was running communications. And Marcus Luttrell was the corpsman or the medic. Marcus Luttrell was the only one that survived. And he went on to tell the story and write the book, Lone Survivor, and which they made the movie out of. So these guys were in a four or five hour firefight. Now imagine that, four or five hours of constant shooting and moving, being shot at, being shot. I mean, unthinkable hell that these guys went through. And three out of the four didn't make it. Lieutenant Mike Murphy being one of them. And that was a blow, that was a blow to Long Island because he was a Long Island guy. I remember, you know, when that happened, even though I, I never knew Mike Murphy, because, you know, Long Island, you know, is, is, is a pretty big place. We don't know everyone. But being a Long Island kid, you can really, you can really identify with, with him and his family. And, and it, it, it really hit home. You know, because you hear all the time, oh, so-and-so was killed, this person was killed, that person was killed, you see it on the news. But, you know, when, when it's a hometown kid, a hometown guy, it, it, it sinks in a little deeper. You know, and I remember that. And, and Lieutenant Murphy was, was given, you know, an amazing burial, an amazing motorcade. I mean, and, and rightfully so, he deserved every bit of it. But now to have a piece of shit, or pieces of shit, desecrate his memorial that's just nah no way no way but that's that's what I don't understand we've gotten to this height of disrespect in this country where if you don't agree with something you destroy it and what don't you agree with these these are probably like 17 to 25 year old know nothing pieces of shit that still live in mommy and daddy's house that still come home for dinner at a certain time, that wouldn't know a goddamn thing about surviving in the real world, and you go and you destroy a monument or, or a memorial to someone who put their life on the line, who, who put their money where their mouth was, who is dead because of their convictions and their beliefs, who stood up when everyone else is sitting down. You have I don't even want to say the balls because it's such a cowardly act. The, I don't, the, 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 the lack of common sense, or, or you, you think that that was an okay thing to do? I really, really, really hope that people in the community find whoever did this way before the police do. Because they don't deserve jail time. They deserve to be dragged through the street, streets and beaten. Now, oh my God, Rob, that's a bit extreme. Fuck that. This is ridiculous now. This is ridiculous. We have to be careful on what we say to a guy in a dress. Be careful not to call him sir, but don't call him ma'am because if you call him ma'am, he might get offended because he's not old enough to be a ma'am. He's a miss, sir. Yeah, you know what? You're a miss, all right. One of the strong swimmers in your daddy's sperm missed. It definitely missed for you to turn out like that. Sorry, but it's the way I feel. Traffic circle, traffic circle, traffic circle, gotta be careful in traffic circles, people are dicks in traffic circles, well people are dicks everywhere but more so in traffic circles. Lieutenant Michael Murphy, Matt Axelson, 
Danny Dietz, and Marcus Luttrell. Love your freedoms, love your country, but above all else, love the people that sacrifice and serve your country. Thank you to all the servicemen and women that have sacrificed and have made the ultimate sacrifice for their country and for us, for those that are currently serving and for those that will serve. Thank you.